What's going on guys, well we're just back again with another match review where Chelsea have won 4-3 against Redden. It's going to be a very quick one for you guys, but if you enjoy my content, please do smash the like button and give these 200 likes. If you're new here, subscribe, hit the bell notification, stay with you more watch. If you enjoy the view right now, in Morocco, make sure you always stay up to date with Worldwide Chelsea. Um, I'll be back in August. New camera, new mic, new podcast, new everything coming up. So make sure you join the journey. But let's talk about the lineup. Caballero, Zaba Costa, Christensen, Tomori, Alonso, Drinkwater, Bakioko, Pulisic, Barkley, Kennedy, Giroud. I just got to say one thing. Drinkwater and Bakioko in the pivotal role is an absolute disgrace. It's not good enough. I feel sorry for Pulisic. He had to play with these players. Um, but Ross Barkley, for me, he has been excellent. This preseason, he has been excellent. I know on the sorry, he was also excellent in the preseason, and I really hope he pushes on from here. I also believe Frank Lampard has definitely boosted his confidence. Free kicks, you know, scoring goals from outside the box in the previous games, of course. This guy, he's going to do a lot better. But obviously, Mason Mount did come on um, and also showed why he's good enough as well. Two goals. Uh, I've got to say, the goalkeeper for Reading was shocking. He was really, really bad. Um, but massive, massive confidence boost for Barkley and Mason Mount. Obviously, the competition for the number 10 role will be there. And also Loftus-Cheek as well, uh, coming back in January as well. So it's going to be a very, very good competition. I think the midfield, also with Kovacic and Jorginho, have been excellent. You know, the midfield for Chelsea have been very good in the pre-season. The wingers have been, you know, decent. Kennedy finally scoring today. You know, it was a decent shot outside the box. However, the goalkeeper, poor positioning. I don't know how he didn't save it, but good for his confidence as well for Kennedy. So, uh, like I said, I felt really, really sorry for Pulisic. So the sun is really, really bright. Obviously behind me, you look know, can see. So it's a bit difficult to you know uh, keep my eyes fully, fully open. So forgive me for that. Um, but yeah, Kennedy confidence booth. Pulisic, I felt sorry for him because he's playing with these players. He's got Alonso behind him even, and the defense. This preseason, I do not understand how we can see the three goals. I don't understand, like, the corner, who's, who's at the post, who? Basic schoolboy errors from Chelsea today, it's not good enough, I was expecting to see the first 11 expected against United to be starting today, we need to be getting into that, you know, confidence in the first 11, or you know, at least the first 8-9 players, at least, how are we still playing these type of players, the strikers, they've had good moments throughout the entire preseason. But I don't think it was good enough from any of them. I don't think Giroud's good enough to lead the line. I don't think Michi's good enough to lead the line. And I think Tammy has probably had the better preseason out of all of them, personally. But even with him, I'm not fully confident. Simply because, you know, I see some shots from him over the bar, deflected, cool, whatever. But our strikers, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I really, really hope we get some luck, like, personally. Maybe I'm being a bit react reactionary, but... I'm not going to overrate the players. The only players I think that have done well this preseason is Kovacic, Ross Barkley, Mason Mount. The top three players that I've seen personally from my own eyes watching the games, them scoring, making things happen, you know, winning the ball back and changing the game. Well done to them, man. But yeah, this was just a quick review. I'm flying back on Tuesday, of course. Uh, I had a really, really good birthday. So thank you, everyone, for the messages. And thank you for over 65 pa Patreons. If you want to help me, $1 a month. Click the link below. Group chats, articles, growing on Twitter. Everything's going to be happening. Giveaways. Make sure you tune in. And yeah, if you're new here, subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Give me to 200 likes. Have a good day. I'll be back on Tuesday. Everything's going to be happening from August. Make sure you check out this channel every one to three days in August, man. Massive collapse. But watch else, man. I'm out.